Hey, this is Easy Take Tampa Bay, and we're gonna take a today. We're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Light, which is uh, you have some good review on it. It's a 4G LTE, and it's a four-inch screen, and uh, you got a oh uh, eight gigabyte of internal memory and it's a 1.4 gigahertz uh, quad-core processor and it has 4.4 Android which is kit capped on it what I like about this one is gonna be a lot faster than if you had an exhibit or you see an exhibit it's almost the same size of the exhibit but inside and internal it's actually a lot better this one comes with the 4.4 Android and usually when I buy a phone I try to see the stuff on it basically what what it is or not what we're gonna do let me go ahead and a little bit there you go uh, looking at the storage first one of the best things so you see how much storage you're gonna have with this one you're gonna have 8 gig internal so but you will be able probably you can add up to up to 64 gig to this one if you want to go ahead and do that and it runs on the KitKat and if you had a phone Android phone before or if you have a Samsung and you want to transfer from Samsung to Samsung the latest Samsung not the earlier one uh, you will be able to download the application it calls Samsung Smart Switch on each phone and you can transfer your stuff from Samsung to if it's not you still have to uh, basically sign into your Gmail account and get your get your stuff out of the Gmail account this one has a cloud also the cloud probably works with uh, Samsung so I would recommend people they actually uh, beside opening the Google account uh, you can uh, open the Samsung account also or so this way Samsung links and he backs up all your stuff to Samsung also which is it's a good thing to do you can take it that advantage of Samsung it's really smooth it's basically you can turn on turn off there is nothing on it but the more you fill up your memory it gets a slower but if you just manage your memory everything should be okay it comes with a lot of preloaded application also so you will be able to use them or you don't you just can get rid of some of those one of the cool thing about the uh, late I think you start with for you 4.1 you will be able to disable some of the applications so you just have to go to the setting and you're gonna go to here uh, that's good for like if you don't have enough memory on your phone so you can get rid of some of the application comes with the oh uh, with the phone so if you go over here, there's nothing running it over here shows up. Some of the application you will be able to get rid of if you have a low memory. <clears throat> I'll start with the Google, uh, some of the Google stuff, which is like, you know, you, you don't use Playbook or you don't use games or movie or newsstand you will be able to just go ahead and click on them and just turn them off and this way it won't download the update and stuff so you should be having enough memory in there overall it's a good phone it's a small not too small but it's actually for a some people they just prefer to have a smaller phone versus bigger phone so that's going to be a good phone because of the internal because I see a lot of people having an issue with their 
memory. So eight gig should be enough for uh, average user. So it's not that bad. Heavy user, they need more than that, but but it should be good enough. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or you have any question about the phone, just uh, um, make sure you comment and question me so I can answer your questions. And if you like the videos, please subscribe so I will be able you will be able to see my other videos and future videos when I uh, put it on YouTube. Thank you.